Ladies and gentlemen, I'll tell you what, like, I mean, I'll tell you how I feel. And I'm sorry about that. Cat obviously has my tongue right now because I felt like a child wanting an iPad for Christmas as in a, uh, a Mr. Julian Blackman. And then I ended up seeing that the Buffalo Bills ended up signing. You heard it here first. You heard it here, Ray, first, folks. We have signed Mike Edwards, former Kansas City Chief Safety. I want to go on ahead and I want to dive into this on today's episode, see exactly how everybody is feeling about the specific move. I know all of us were salivating over the potential of getting Julian Blackman on this team. Um, however, good news is we have ended up investing in a bit of youth, filling over for Micah Hyde. We have a free safety now. So where our roster looks right now, where our roster looks right now, it's going to be Mike Edwards and Taylor Rapp. Maybe, for example, we go out there and maybe we draft the safety sooner rather than later. Maybe we'll see a Cam Kinchins in here. Maybe we'll see a Cole Bishop in the third or fourth. Maybe so the world will be shocked and we end up getting a Tyler Newbin in the first. I know that half of the city of Buffalo would burn down if that was the case. However, breaking news, the Buffalo Bills have signed safety Mike Edwards. Spixy is coming in saying, oh, a Chiefs player, right? Who is he and how good is he? I'll tell you what. I put this into a perfect example where I ended up saying that I feel like a kid that wanted an iPad like really bad for Christmas. But then once it was Christmas morning, I roll it to my tree, I open it up and boom, I got a tablet, right? It's still functional. It's better than what we had on the roster. Probably a hell of a lot cheaper than what we thought. But yeah, dude. I mean, honestly, let's just go on ahead. Let's just check out exactly what this guy has to offer us. Because you know what? I'm sure Bill's Twitter right now is absolutely buzzing. Because all I've been doing is just looking at highlights from Julian Blackman the entire time. And uh, that's that's basically where it was. That's basically where it go. Adam, what's up? You're oh, damn. What up? What up, dude? How you doing? How you doing? We're going all in. I love this pickup. Go Bills. Who's the new gay Dan? What? <laughs> Who's the new gay Dan? Who's gay Dan, bro? I think you mean who's the new guy, Dan? Uh, it is Mike Edwards, former safety for the Buffalo Bills, right over here. Bills Mafia is coming in. Okay. Anyway, let's see what some of the talking heads are saying about the guys so we can understand this together. Folks, please do me a favor. Smash that like button on your way in. It's complete. <laughs> you got it. That's just sketch. You're right. No tablet based off of feedback from a non biased creator. Wanted an iPad. We got an extra sketch. But at the end of the day, I might as well just get married right to my take where I think safeties are really not that important in today's NFL, but onward we'll go. Thad Brown says Mike Edwards is a solid, dependable ad, regular starter only once in five years, but regular snaps on D almost every game, does a lot of things, can play in the box, has four touchdowns. Okay, so whether or not that those are fumble recoveries, I know for a fact he wasn't too hot in the interception game last year. Played on two Super Bowl winners. Does not stop the Bills from drafting a safety. Edwards can be a good third or respectable starter. Depth signing, sounds like. We have Adam coming in saying we got a Game Boy. <laughs> instead, instead of the iPad. Thanks, Mom and Dad. Anyway, Mike Edwards and Razul Douglas have combined for seven defensive touchdowns since 2021 listen i'm fine with being a high scoring defense i can tell you that much hit that like button people done 716 my boy dude my boy i hope all is well i sincerely hope all is well jayco is coming in saying yo dan sean mcdermott gotta get over the hump bill's gotta go all the way in going younger comes with speed and i'm sure a lot of us are interested right let's check out mike edwards let's go to pff and i mean listen and so I know we've all had our beef with PFF and I'll also look at his stats and then I'll also look at some of the clips that we can find on the internet as of right now, but let's get a good understanding of who exactly this guy is. Not ideal in coverage. I can tell you that much because look at it this way, folks. This guy is a respectable starter, but by no stretch of the imagination, somebody crazy. Scoring D is pretty solid, but he has a pass rush score of 70.5. Run defense of 50.5 and overall 56.5. Let's see how he did last year. 37 solo tackles, 13 assists, 11 stops, one sack, 11 missed tackles, one interception, 
and a passer rating of 66.4 when being targeted against and yards per reception 13.3. Uh, run defense snaps 181 with coverage snaps 427. So, folks, if you're just coming in, breaking news for the Buffalo Bills, we just ended up signing Mike Edwards, now a safety in the building. Okay, let's go ahead and get some more feedback. Mike Edwards and Razul Douglas have combined seven defensive touchdowns since 2021. Basically, what I want to do is I want to become a believer while I'm doing this. Folks, if you're new here, my name is Dan Mitchell. I'm an NFL YouTuber, obviously a diehard Buffalo Bills fan. Smash that like button for me. It's totally free. It takes less than a second and helps the channel out tremendously. Um, and subscribe. And subscribe. We have seen so much growth in this channel the past couple of months and this past year. So we want to continue to see that. Um, Mike Edwards says the culture, the coaching staff and Buffalo's defense being safety friendly were some of the reasons why he wanted to come to Buffalo. Uh, Mike Edwards will wear number 21. Okay. That's going to be bittersweet. That's certainly going to be bittersweet. New bill safety. Mike Edwards will wear former bill safety, Jordan Poyer's number 21. So if you guys have a Poyer Jersey and you want to swap out the nameplate, we will see. He's a good tackler and blitzer. He's awful in coverage. <laughs> he is awful in coverage, ladies and gentlemen. That's the feedback right now. Okay. And listen, this is coming from a non-biased person as well. My buddy's a 49ers fan. Great 49ers YouTuber. He's coming in. He's talking about that. Um, great blitzer. Great tackler. Absolutely horrible in pass coverage. So I'll tell you what this means. I'll tell you that this means that uh, still look for us to be targeting a safety in the earlier rounds. And by earlier, I'm saying anywhere between the second and the fourth. And dare I say, okay, listen, bro. Yo, we have a Chiefs guy in here. Parrish, talk to me. Uh, Ravens for life, you never heard of Mike Edwards and the man that just went back to back with the Chiefs. Parrish, give me your honest take on this guy. Give me your honest take on this guy. What does he mean? Is he a good player? What are his red flags? I know I got some Chiefs fans in here. If anyone can give any Bills fans some feedback, because we wanted Julian Blackman pretty bad, uh, but sounds like we ended up going with the depth move instead. Um, and the Bills add to the safety room, signing Mike Edwards, versatile DB dating back to his time with Tampa Bay, split safety, dime linebacker, a lot of the stuff the Bills ask for their DBs. Good signing, especially if the draft board for safeties doesn't go their way. Uh, new Bills safety Mike Edwards says he believes takeaways, instincts, and his versatility are highlights in the game. Let me see what else we got here. Where are the damn... Okay, hold up, hold up. Okay, so according to the Buffalo Bills themselves, they're signing safety Mike Edwards. Edwards is a guy that can do a little bit of everything, an absolute warrior on the field, slides in right with rap. Okay, what happened? Snaps. You just want to play sound and with good technique. On third and goal, football comes loose. So he's a good tackler. Okay, so he's a good tackler. So he's versatile. He's versatile. I'd take him. He's a good fit for any team regardless. That's good, Parrish. Thank you so much for the feedback. Uh, you mean the second or the fourth because we don't have a third. You're right, Jason. You're absolutely right. However, I am still convinced that we are planning on trading up into the third round somehow. I don't know how or why, but I do see the Buffalo Bills finding a way into the third round this year. Uh, whether or not that's trading down or whether or not that that's trading up from the fourth, throwing in a couple of packages, I do see this. We're sitting here watching some highlights here. Let me see. Uh, Bills. Uh, Bills got a guy who can not only play close to the box, but that has instincts and can play center field. Valuable pickup for the Bills defense and Brandon B. Now he will be coached by Sean McDermott and Bobby Babich. So he takes the ball away allegedly and Edwards will wear Jersey number 21. Here we go. So, you know, there's a red flag when all you see is just college highlights. And so, you know, that's a red flag. That's red flag. Number one, when all you see is college highlights, there's an issue here. Dan, why do you enable Richie's delusion? Because the downfall just makes it so much, so much better at the end of the day, folks, do me a favor, smash that like button for me. It's totally free. takes less than a second. Helps out the channel tremendously. Close to 190. No, excuse me. 140 of you on YouTube right now and a select few of you on X. 59 on X, 140 on YouTube. Go ahead and smash that like button for me. Let's go ahead and make this work, baby.
Let's go ahead and make this work. I keep forgetting that I stream on X quite a bit. Tyler H. Dan, does Mike Edwards mean the Bills could go heavier on defensive tackle and edge in the draft? Tyler H., I wouldn't say that, my friend. More because I think that he's more of an insurance policy in case the draft doesn't work out our way. In my point. Dwight is saying with Edwards, uh, when he was a buck, had two pick sixes in four minutes. Hey, that's beautiful. At least we don't have Tamar Hamlin's starting. Touche. Very, very good point. Damn, the Bills are going to suck. We got Savage Sports 9, what George said. Nah, we won't suck. We had 12 picks two seasons ago. He had 12 picks two seasons ago. Let's fact check that. Let's check out our guy real fast. Mike Edwards stats. Let me see. All right. So last year with the Chiefs, one sack, 51 tackles, 19 assists, one interception for 16 yards. The Bucks in 2022, he went off. He had 82 combined, 30 assisted tackles, one sack and two interceptions. Bucks as well. Three picks. 46 combined, 12, 46 yards. Okay. I'll take it. I'll take it. Listen, it's a step up from what uh, from what Hamlin was. That's for sure. I just checked out Chiefs Twitter. Good signs as Chiefs fans are pissed, Steve wrote. That's always a good sign. That is definitely always a good sign. It means wide receiver will be the first round pick unless a stud defensive guy drops. One-year contracts are only for depth players not starters. It was games played 12, not interceptions. <laughs> oh man. 12 games. He was saying interesting. Savage sports ends coming in or nines coming in saying, bro, we are going to suck chiefs kingdom. Still won't pat Mahomes in the playoffs. Hey, with chiefs kingdom. Uh, how is Mike Edwards? And talk to us real fast, man. Bills fans right here. We're super curious to see how everything is working out. 145 of you in the chat right now. Do me a favor, sound off, and tell me your thoughts about what you're thinking of this new pickup, this new safety pickup for the Buffalo Bills. Uh, we got Brian coming in. So I guess that means it's good sign for Poyer since the Bills fans are upset he left. I'll tell you what, man. Listen, I like Jordan Poyer. I think he's going to do well with the Dolphins. Uh, we miss him. I have no bad feelings toward him. Uh, Floyd was a one year. I feel that I just got a hand me down from my big brother. <laughs> People, how was interesting. People, how was Hyde and Poyer when we got them? When it doesn't affect the Ravens, and so I'll be cheering for the Bills this year. True time. I sincerely appreciate that. Thank you so much. Miami had a three game division lead with five games to go and lost it. Dano. What's up, big dog? I'm okay with the signing. One-year deal. It's a depth signing from what I'm seeing. Um, he's a quality starter. Solid quality starter. We just have to hope that we stay healthy in the linebacker department and uh, we just get great production uh, with the pass rush in the front four. That would be ideal. I trust McDermott and Babich on defensive backs, especially safeties. I'm checking stats, and Poyer still has some juice left in him. I'm pumped about him. You're right. If Miami could have held Tennessee off for another few minutes and Buffalo would have been watching the playoffs from the couch, Mike Edwards is a really good safety. We have Jordan Smith coming in. Listen, man, you can always count on my boy Jordan coming in with that positivity. All right? You can always count on my boy Jordan coming in for some positivity when it rolls into it. But let's see if there's anything else that we can find out about Mike Edwards. Some clips, something to get me excited. And the two guys they had phenomenal over the past seven years, Bill Safe. So new Bill Safety Edwards said about the team's former veteran duo, Micah Hyde and Jordan Poyer. I feel like I can come in and take on that role and try to get better. Free agent profile, safety, Mike Edwards. Let's go ahead and check this out. With Poyer and Hyde, we're underappreciated in the NFL before joining the Bills. Mike Edwards has been underappreciated in his career and now joins the Buffalo Bills. Just saying, listen, have to be optimistic with how McDermott develops secondary. That's basically how it plays out. Matthew Rodriguez is coming in. And so above the trees, below the radar, 
We will be fine. Go Bills. Matthew Rodriguez, man, he's coming in with that positivity. I sincerely, sincerely appreciate that. Folks, as we're coming in on YouTube right now, man, we have 167 of you watching. Let's go ahead and get up to 70 like buttons smashed. I certainly think that we can get that done. Super easy. Helps out the channel tremendously. If you're new here, do me a favor. If you're new here, do me a favor and subscribe because I put out NFL content each and every single day. When is the call in? I'm going to do it right before the AFC East roundtable. This is just an emergency press conference that we had to talk some things out. G Diaz is saying, so if we draft a safety, who do you think will get most likely? It's tough, man. It just depends on what round that, that we decide to go with. Right. Um, I mean, right now, when you look at our overall depth chart, right, you have Cam Lewis, you have Mike Edwards, you have Taylor Rapp, and you have Damar Hamlin. So that's four safeties at the end of the day. Defensive tackle is probably a bit more of a need when it comes into depth because there's only three players under contract. So I'm assuming I think defensive tackle will probably be taken before a safety. So if I had to guess, I think the Bills are going to be going with a safety in the fourth or we find a way to trade up into um or we find a way to trade up right into the third for somebody who i will say i would be fine with a kalen bullock out of southern cal he's been uh looking excellent for the most part and he's like a third round talent or cole bishop as well who could be a possibility unless benford kicks out to safety i'll tell you what man listen I feel like players only transition from cornerback to safety when they're like a decent corner, right? I feel like Benford has been a wonderful cornerback and I just don't really see the need to move him unless they decide to give Kyer Elam that starting CB2 role and move Benford over to safety from that situation. That could always be an idea. And so he won a Super Bowl with Tampa Bay with us and him. Benford won't be moved. Yeah, dude. I don't. And so I don't see it happen. He certainly can. He certainly can be moved. It's just a, it's just a theory at that point. Secondary starters are set. Benford, Douglas, and Taron Johnson for the three corners and Rapp and Edwards for safety. Yeah. Yeah, I would say so. And then we'll probably end up getting a safety in the draft. Like I said, fourth round, maybe we trade up into the third. But I'm still pretty convinced that this Buffalo Bills team is going to go wide receiver and defensive tackle in the first and second round. I think that's exactly what it's been needing and trying to tell us for the most part. If we don't get Brian Thomas or A.D. Mitchell, I'm going to be so pissed. We have digs in a blanket coming on in, man, making it happen. And so a lot of people are uh, really high on Lad McConkey, And if not, and so you give me Xavier Leggett. And so you give me Xavier Leggett, if that's not the question. And I know a lot of people don't really like Keon Coleman, but I would be fine with Keon Coleman as well. Want Brian Thomas Jr. or A.D. Mitchell, but if we don't, we will survive. <laughs> if he's a one-year deal, then they will grab a safety. But if it's more than a one-year deal, they won't grab one. It is a one-year deal. Brian Fawcett, hate to say it, but as long as Josh Allen is in Buffalo, they have a shot. Brian Fawcett's coming in. He's letting us know. Exactly, man. Listen, a window is never truly closed when you have a franchise starting quarterback. It's just how it is. Have you seen uh, Leonard Taylor out of Miami? No, I have not. Nice, Blake. We need a big downfield guy. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I mean, I feel like all the guys, right, that I'm targeting right now, as far as like 50 50, tall, fast, uh, that is AD Mitchell, that is Xavier Leggett, and that is also BTJ. As much as I love Worthy, as much as I love Worthy, he's just, his size really isn't there. That is the only issue. Majority of the D was injured. Will Shorter ever see the field? Greg Snyder's coming in, man. Listen, I'll be honest with you, bro. And so I'll be completely honest with you. If we draft a wide receiver in the first or the second round this year, and so I would be shocked if Shorter is on this team next year, if that makes sense, right? Because we typically roll with, what, five receivers, six maybe? Um, Here it is, right? Stephon Diggs, you have Curtis Samuel, Shakir, 
So we're going to keep Hollins because of his special team ability. So that's four right over there. Um, and then we're probably also going to keep whoever wins. So the punt returner role. So I'm not sure if that's KJ Hamler. I'm not sure who's going to be returning punts, but that's going to be somebody who's going to be able to return punts for us. It's not going to be Hollins. Um, and then that sixth spot is more than likely going to be the guy that we end up drafting. So I don't, and I know he is as green as can be. Yeah. Yeah, man. Most definitely. It's just, it's, it's hard. It's hard for me to even plot a path of him being on this team next year. Um, I could be wrong. And so I could be wrong, but I do not have shorter where it stands today making this team, especially if the Buffalo Bills draft a receiver uh, within the first three rounds, which is more than likely just going to be the first. In my defense, McDermott tested Benford at safety in training camp last year. Joshua Richardson came in. Thank you so much for the super chat, man. Sincerely appreciate that. What up, Dan? Watch all your live streams while I'm at work. I'm tired of TD and Richie dogging the Bills and Josh Allen. I can't wait to shut them both up. Bro, dude, I do it every year. Stay tuned. Stay tuned, man. Listen, they start off smiling and they forget the pain that we regularly deliver them, which is pretty wild. YouTube has not been giving me your notification. Well, make sure those notification bells are turned on, baby, and come on in. I definitely appreciate you coming up, making it happen, and showing us some love right over here. You have two safe spots on the practice squad. Yeah, most definitely. I mean, I think Shorter might be able to be a practice squad guy, but as far as active 53, I'm just not seeing that. Um, <laughs> watch Shorter get cut and go to the Jets. Um, so with Isabella, Shorter, and Hamler, can be practice squad, absolutely. Not this year, Dad. It's Miami's turn, dude. Oh, dude. Listen. And so I'll tell you what. And so you give me a Super Bowl in Buffalo, bro. I'm fine with the Bills just sucking for the next 10 years. And so if we were to win a Super Bowl this year, I would be fine with us just sucking for, for the next 10. That is all I want. That is all I want. Uh, Mike Edwards is a solid player, but he's starting. But is he starting for y'all? Um, so where it stands now, fire the cannons, he is. He is uh, <laughs> He's the best. Um, so between him and Rap are the best safeties on the roster right now. So where it stands, yes, he will be starting. And so unless like we get some rookie like in here that just wows during training camp, that's exactly what's happening. We are going to be seeing Mike Edwards starting for this team. And so I don't need to win again if I get one Super Bowl. Watch Buffalo go defensive tackle first round. <laughs> don't wish injury on players, please. Absolutely. And so never wish injury on anybody. Uh, you don't know that. He's going to compete with Hamlin. Uh, we need defensive tackle, wide receiver, and a young safety in the draft. And I'll tell you what, man, it's going to be either wide receiver or defensive tackle in the first. And I know everybody in Buffalo is going to be pissed off if it does turn out to be a safety or it does turn out to be a defensive tackle. But I don't know. A defensive tackle would be sweat if he is there. I agree. And so you need Hamlin for those fake punts. <laughs> no, we don't. No, we don't, dude. D. Mitch, you get that ring yet. Don't drag those feet, man. It's coming, babe. It's coming. It's coming, bro. Don't worry. I will tell all of you once it's it's good and it's official. I promise you. It's coming, though, bro. I promise. I promise. Anything can happen. X rough. And do you think that the Bills should get rid of Tyler Bass? No, I'm fine with giving him one more year. And so I had a theory about why TB was having such an issue. And I think it might even come down to the fact there might have been an issue with how Sam Martin holds the ball. Might be an issue there. In fact, I think I might even go on ahead and make a video on that and really dissect a lot of his missed kicks and see how the hold was doing. Cam, what up, dude? How you doing? And so I would rather the Bills get Leggett in the second round and not a top wide receiver since they have Curtis Samuel now. Bass girlfriend looks like Dan's. Let me see. Tyler Bass girlfriend. And 
And so I see the resemblance. So I see the resemblance, yeah. Certainly see the resemblance. Here, hold up. And so I certainly see the resemblance here. Yep. Yep. Certainly, certainly see the resemblance. Indeed. Um, yeah, no, 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 not, yeah, dude, not far off at all. <laughs> and to be funny, uh, who do you think is the best free agent the Bills signed so far? Curtis Samuel, hands down. Curtis Samuel, hands down. So the 40-year-old QB coming off of an Achilles, left tackle who played eight games a year and a wide receiver coming off of an Achilles. What would go wrong for the Jets? Implosion is imminent. Two Hill is going to be an underrated signing. Dude goes 1,000 miles per hour on every play. See, <laughs> see the kickers can fall too. I like JPJ and the Oregon center. Yeah, man, he's, he's going in... Yeah, uh, he's going like top 15, top 20, but I mean, he could fall. And, but don't sleep on McGovern either. And definitely don't sleep on McGovern, man. He played center in college. So let me see. So we are just with Justin Simmons and Julian Blackman off of the table. No, they're not, but I'll tell you what, I feel like our money is off of the table. <laughs> I feel like the Bills' money is off of the table at this point. I'm just really not seeing quite a bit. Three teams, three Super Bowls. Some hamstring injuries in his career, but not consistently occurring. A few other one-off injuries. Let me see what I saw. Let me see what else we got. A Zimbabwe. Yes, sir. I got the winter greens, as a matter of fact. And so they ain't even touching the Super Bowl. They're going to get so high on these Jets, but don't know how everything will work out with the defense. Uh, what's your record prediction for the Bills? I'll tell you what, man. Uh, wait until after the draft, and so I will go ahead and give you my record prediction there. So make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, folks. Guys, if you're just coming in, breaking news, the Buffalo Bills ended up signing Mike Edwards to the team. Sound off and let me know your thoughts. Would Jordan Smith 8-9 is realistic for Buffalo with their defensive holes? Pizza and the AFC is crazy. We got unlucky to have Josh now. <laughs> right? No, it's nuts. Dan, on average, and do rookie safeties start in the NFL? Um, I'm trying to think of any rookie safe. I mean, I feel like a Hamilton did, right? Um, starting is one thing and just being like a plug and play player as far as dominating snaps. I don't know. And to be completely honest with you, I wouldn't see us starting a safety that we would get in the fourth round. I mean, not unless he just absolutely went wild. Did Micah Hyde retire? He did not. I believe he's still a pending free agent. Um, and I can see Dig Samuel Shakir starting the season, even if the draft wide receiver in the first. Did Micah Hyde retire? <laughs> Who is Hamilton? It's Mr. Kyle Hamilton from the Baltimore Ravens. Is Diggs leaving Buffalo? No, he's not. Um, his contract came fully guaranteed this past weekend. Mile High is coming in. Coming on it. Um, no, Micah Hyde did not retire. He's still a pending free agent, though, at the end of the day. 188 of you in here already, folks, and a couple of you on X. 104 of you on X right now, dude. This is a beautiful thing. This is a beautiful thing. Folks, I'll tell you what. And so I want to let a couple callers in. If anybody wants to come in and talk a little ball and give me your thoughts on this signing, please, please, please hop in and let's chat. Let's chat, man. Roll on in. I just ended up posting the StreamYard link to come into the show have a conversation if any of you guys want to come on in ask me a question and you give me your thoughts on the mike edwards signing come on in baby it is now ready to go i know my boy andy johnson's excited he's been looking forward to it i have the link to join this show call in ask any questions roll on in baby make it happen 
The greatest story ever told part two, go Bills. Absolutely. So the starters are Edwards and Rap. <laughs> the greatest story ever told remake. Listen. And so we lost money on production. So we had to roll away. So we had to roll away. With Jordan Smith, they might be able to pull off nine and eight if they can stay healthy. Listen, man, as long as Josh Allen's on this team, Popeye, okay, we are almost guaranteed, like almost guaranteed, um, I'd say 11 wins just with him in there. Uh, we got Greg coming in saying, are you in North Carolina or South Carolina? I remember you telling us before, Greg. I was in South Carolina for a while, but I recently just relocated to Destin, Florida, my friend. I'm in Florida State country. I'm in Florida State Seminoles country, baby. That's how it works out. And just look up their starts and stats before the Bills. I don't think we need a wide receiver in the draft. Uh, we already have wide receiver. Uh, we have AJ coming. Yo, what up? What's up, Dan? Good to see you, brother. Dude, how do you feel about Mike Edwards, man? I don't know too much about him. I have to. I got to do my research when I get home. So, yeah, I don't really know what to make of it yet. So, I'll tell you what, my friend. You know what? I sort of put it like right to an extent where I was just like, you know. And so I wanted an iPad and I got a tablet, but then my buddy was in the chat and he said it's more like an etch a sketch. But I guess he's terrible in coverage. But then at the same time, I guess he's, I don't know, he's not bad at tackling. And he's not bad at blitzing. So it's it's going to be different, man. What's going on, brother? What's well, going on? I mean, man? I guess we'll see what McDermott does. I mean, that is his one specialty is secondary. So. And just allow him to develop, man. That's all. A oh, couple things. Talk to me. You It's you you pronounce Cooper DeGene's name wrong. You keep saying Dijon. It's DeGene. Oh, shit. I thought he was French. No. <laughs> Come on, man. Listen, bro. I was trying to be culturally appropriate. You know what I mean? It's no, the G. Every time you said that, I'm like, bro, why is he saying it like that? Yo, listen, please do me a favor and let me know if I ever like mispronounce a player's name like going into it because I sincerely need it. I sincerely need it. Like this one dude from Clemson, Rook, I think it's Or Horhoro or something like that. Yeah, let I can't know. pronounce that shit either. I couldn't tell I can't you that do it, bro. or not. I can't do it. Listen, man, I've been trying to pronounce Tua's last name for three years. I've given up. Just say Tua or that bum. That's all I say. Or bum. That's what I say. Uh, <laughs> at, the, at the end of the day, what else he got for me, bro? Cooper uh, Jean. I mean, as much as I want him to draft a wide receiver in the first round, I don't know. It's really going to depend on who's sitting there. And so I guess. favorites again? I like Troy, but I don't know something. I, I like Troy Franklin in the beginning, but now I don't know. I don't this think Brian Thomas is going to be there. No, I don't like Keon Coleman. He reminds me too much of Gabe Davis. I'm, we're trying to get away from that. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. So. And so what about Xavier Leggett? That's my dude. I like him. I just, I, if we're going to do that, then we should trade back. Try to pick up a second and a third. Yeah. For the love of God. For the love of God. But That's I could definitely see us going heavy, like, D-tackle, defensive end. There's a couple defensive ends I like. Mm -hmm. Like, what's, like, your bottom barrel expectation right now? And so there's no question. I know that, like, you, like, hate Sean McDermott and stuff like that. But, like, looking at this roster before the draft, what's, like, your bottom barrel expectation? What's, like, so the absolute floor? of what this team will accomplish next year. They have to at least make the playoffs. True. True. <laughs> they don't make the playoffs. He needs to go. Listen, With the man. roster, the money that they spent and everything else. If they don't make the playoffs, that's on him. He needs to go. I mean, dude, listen, here's the deal, right? Because I was starting to warm up right to your take because like you wanted them out after that Denver game. Like with the 12th man, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that was your last straw. The straw that broke the camel's back right there. Oh, yeah. Um, but then we ended up going on that run, and I was okay with it. But I'll tell you what, I'm happy that Ben Johnson and Bobby Slowick, those OCs out of Houston and uh, the uh, Lions, didn't get picked up this year. And they're back at OC. So 
those two candidates of what we wanted in case McDermott does lay an egg again this year, I feel like would be perfect. That's true. We got to get it going, man. Where are you at right now? Are you at the grocery store? No, I'm at work. <laughs> My boy's calling in at work, baby. I love it. Dude, I call in at work all the time. You know this. <laughs> I did. Dude, I love it, man. And so you manage the place, right? Yep. That's right. <laughs> That's right, baby. That's those benefits. It's those benefits, man. You're sitting there snapping your fingers, being like, hey, motherfucker. So you better get over there while I'm on this call real fast, talking Buffalo. Talking exactly. Buffalo. That's a beautiful thing. Andy, we're going to see you at the AFC's round table tonight? Of course. All right, brother. We'll see you, man. I appreciate I, got, you, man. I definitely got something for TD and Richie. Please, please, man. Is the uh, master work going to be back tonight or no? Ah, uh, no, dude. Um, so, so I'm not sure if you saw, but like he actually ended up going through like a pretty serious surgery. And yeah, uh, I know. I just I I saw he started tweeting again, so I wasn't sure if he was going to yeah, be back. Yeah, tonight yeah, he's, or not. yeah, yeah. He's tweeting. He's still in like pretty serious recovery right now, so probably won't see. Wish him the back. best. Yeah, yeah, most definitely. We probably won't see him back until I say training camp. Say that I had to guess. Really, not even for the draft? No, I don't think so, man. I mean, say for example that that you know, so, so they pull off a miracle and grab Caleb Williams, and he'll probably end up, he'll find a way to come in. He'll be dancing on TD's grave. He'll be dancing on TD's grave, man. Listen, dude, that's all the recovery you need is his damn whatever, but. Fucking A, man. We'll see you tonight, brother. I appreciate you. See you tonight. Peace, man. Austin. All right, what's up, Dan? Yo, what How up, man? Doing? How's life? Yo, how's life, bro? Talk to me. And to this life Austin generally that's in the chat, typically? Yes, yes, yes. How's life, man? <laughs> talk to me. Dude, talk to me. How's life? Life is great, man. I just um, – Mike Edwards is solid. Uh, uh, he's oh, solid. Like He's okay. I I have a couple of a, uh, I have a couple of uh, friends who are Chiefs fans, and they've they've told me that they like him. He, okay. He, like they were sad to see him go, um. But I really like Tyler Newbin. Like I I am in love with Tyler Newbin. That is my that is my draft crush. You I could say is Newbin. Tyler Newbin. I feel like he's gonna be a star. Tyler so at Newbin. number twenty eight, you'd be okay with taking like uh, not at twenty eight. <laughs> but not at 28 because I feel like that's a reach. But yeah. yeah. I feel like I feel like we're focusing. I don't know. I feel like our fan base is focusing way too much on receiver. Like, I don't know. Like, I feel like we can get a receiver next year in the draft, right? <sighs> or we can. Yeah, dude. Dude, I mean, listen, I could definitely be talked into it for sure. Because, I mean, I look at it this way. Like, we're going to see further development from King Cade. And I mean, there's mm -hmm. so many teams that just rely heavily on like one like middle of the road receiver and just a stud tight end. And I feel mm -hmm. like people like with this debate that we've been having about the necessity for like a big boundary wide receiver is forgetting mm -hmm. that we're getting a Dalton Kincaid who is as long as he stays healthy next year is probably about to take that next step. Yeah. So, I mean, I still want one because – I mean, dude, like, honestly, man, like, I sit there and watch, like, people like Joe Burrow, like, have a damn elite squad of playmakers. And I just want to yeah. have Josh Allen just have the shiniest toys in the league for once. And I think I think that Josh Allen actually hasn't played with a first-round receiver. No. He hasn't played with that many yet. No. Or, he, or if none at all. No, man, not crazy. at all. I mean, I mean, shit. I mean, when was the last first-round receiver we took? I think it was Sammy Watkins. Was the last time Ooh. we took a receiver in the first. Ooh. Ooh. And we saw how far that went. <laughs> right? Yeah. I just feel like there's there's a lot of holes that need to be filled on this team, particularly on defense. And I feel like like I know we've invested a lot in the defense. And I understand why fans want a receiver. Because yeah. I do too. I do too. But we just ended up getting Curtis Samuel. We have Dalton Kincaid. Like I feel like we can we can afford to go defense one more time is what I'm looking. That's that's how I'm looking at it. Even though I know everybody wants rece a receiver. So a heavy to. defensive draft is what you're looking for. Uh, Honestly, like, I want a receiver, like, in the – if we can get a receiver in the third, like, if Leggett is still there in the third, I wouldn't be mad. 
It's yeah. probably not going to fall the way that for. But... Nah. Nah, not at all, man. <laughs> yeah, dude. He's actually a huge target for me, too. I love Xavier Legat. Would welcome him with open arms. Would mm. welcome him with open arms, man. Are uh, you in Buffalo? Um, No, I'm actually in L.A. I've, I've been a Buffalo fan for, I would say, like six years now. Word, six dude. Years. Yeah, it's because L.A. didn't have a team while I was growing up. Yeah. So uh, I didn't really start getting into football until until recently, about five, six years ago. And yeah. That's, that's when I became a part of Bill's Mafia. You know? Dude, welcome, brother. <laughs> dude, listen, man. I, dude, listen, dude. I appreciate you rolling in all the time in the chat, man. We see it. We see it, dude. Of course. I mean, of I'm course. Sure we'll be having several other conversations, dude. I have these call-in shows. Well, I mean, now I'm starting these call-in shows all the time. Mm -hmm. uh, but, I mean – yeah, dude, listen, man. I mean, maybe you can convince me to get on the Tyler Newbin train here for a bit. Um, it might require a bit of work because I'm still pretty heavy on getting a wide receiver in the first. But other than that. Dude, I want to, too. I want to, too. It's just we have a lot of holes on defense. You're right. It's, it's not It's not looking good on that end of the football right now. It's, yeah, 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 yeah like, man. We were I'm holding together confident. our defense. Yeah, bro. We were holding together our defense with dental floss, especially in the playoffs. So, so we're going to have to. <laughs> Yeah, dude, we're going to have to see how that plays out. Austin, my boy, dude, we'll see you next call and show, man. I appreciate you. Thank you for having me, Dan. Peace, bro. Adam. What's good, my boy? What's good, bro? What you doing? Oh, uh, just chilling. Uh, Hanging out. What you got for me today, man? Oh, uh, listen. Who can we really draft at 28 that's going to be a day one starter, though? That's the real question. Outside of receiver, who can we really draft at 28? That would be a day one start. Fuck. See, here's – dude, dude, here's my concern about 28, right? There's such a huge drop-off from safety and defensive tackle from, like, 1 through 20. Mm -hmm. And then us taking a safety or a defensive tackle at 28, in my opinion, would be a significant reach. And I'm afraid to trade down because we have fucking 11 picks already. How many more picks do we realistically need at this point? I could see us trying to go for like a third rounder or anything, but I'm still pretty dead set. I'm still pretty dead set, man. Like I, some receivers that are projected to go in the second, I do think if there was different years, they could be projected in the first. Like I know everyone hates Keon Coleman. I like Keon Coleman. I like Xavier Leggett. Like the swag. You gotta, you gotta love somebody that swag. People want a, a a a good guy. Like you need a dominant energy. Jordan wasn't liked, but he won rings. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Tom wasn't liked, but he won rings. You know. Exactly, man, like, dude, so. dude, man. Like I feel like everyone just like salivates like over like a forty and stuff. Like they see a forty yard dash, they're like, oh man, dude. Like that yeah. guy's about to be like the next coming. Uh, but like I mean, I feel like everyone's obsessed with worthy and so i like him man but like i'm just afraid that he's gonna get bullied by like sauce and everything but um i'm fine with keon coleman i'm fine with xavier Leggett, but i'm still crossing my fingers right now that we get a brian thomas jr or we get an ad mitchell one of those two man i mean that sets us off that sets us off man we just need to blow the top off of these damn defenses and i just want to punish the chiefs for once in my life 100 percent. and my, my biggest thing is uh, I don't understand people's gripe with Stefan. Like, yeah, yeah, he talks his his you know his one two in the off season and he does what he does. But he's a flamboyant guy. Like that's what he does. Like, yeah, he, like nobody was crying when we had the fifteen hundred yard season. They loved the extra swag then, and now nah. he calling Josh out America's Cheerio box boy. And everybody's <laughs> upset about it. You know. What yeah. I mean? But Josh was playing trash when he was upset. Like he. Yeah. You know. So I don't know. I, I yeah. Don't really understand people's gripe about Stefan. He hasn't really said anything. He never said I wanted to trade. He never talked bad. No. He just. You got to be able to hold people in the locker room accountable. And just because he's the quarterback, that doesn't mean he gets yeah. to a different standard. I don't know. And so yeah. Well, like, dude. I mean, honestly, man. I'll tell you what. Like when he went on that podcast and he said, I just hate losing. I felt that because I fucking hate losing too, man. Like I try to like look back in the days, like when I played organized sports, I felt the same way during stuff like that. When I knew my team could be better. Yeah, dude. I'm not going to sit here with a smile on my face knowing that we could have completely ended up 
kicking the Bengals' ass or like whatever team right, right. and just be all happy about the situation. I think why everyone freaks out is, is because how he came to Buffalo. Because it started off with a tweet from Minnesota and then he was in Buffalo. So now literally with any time that guy ends up posting anything on Twitter, like like now the media goes on a damn tirade right now, like article after article after article. Like what did he mean? My buddy in the chat thinks that he got his girl pregnant. Right, and like right. I was reading through like all like the tweets. I was like, holy shit, that makes sense too. Like they're so yeah. vague and they're so vague. He like he could be talking about anything. I'm he's still a right. random guy. Like that's, he's still a normal yeah, guy. That, that's that's what I mean. Same like he has a whole life outside of football. Like he could be talking shit. Him and his homeboys could have been on vacation and he's talking <laughs> about some shit we don't even know about. Like, what do you mean? Like, dude, you know, so. dude sometimes I imagine. Like sometimes I imagine he's hanging out with his friends and he's just like, yo, watch, I'm just going to tweet two words. Five minutes, there's going to be 10 articles. <laughs> there's going to be 10 articles, man. It's, it's, it's nuts, man. With Diggs, here's my thing with him, man. Like he did sort of like fall off like after week six. I think he got hurt week five. I do. And I think he just ended up playing through it. And then he just kept getting blanketed and everything like that. I think Curtis Samuel is going to help him out in that situation. Because he's a great route runner, too. He's just as fast. Um, dude, all it's going to take is just one game where he breaks, like, 125 yards, and we're not going to hear another thing about people that give dig shit. 100%. Like, I mean, he's shown up every year, and then he still got 1,000 last year, even though, you know, he couldn't get open or whatever in the second half of the season. He still got 1,000. Like, come on. Like, forget about it. Yeah, nah, dude. It's... It's wild, man. It's wild. What do you think about that Mike Edwards thing, or Mike Edwards signing? I'm, 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 I'm good with it because defense people like it's not like how it used to be, right? You're not playing the safeties the whole game, like Ryan Clark, Palomalu all game, right? We you scheming up packages. I know what they're running, so I can see Mike Edwards excelling in packages. But if you know his weakness is coverage, like obviously they're gonna go get another guy. <laughs> you know, yeah. Like, <laughs> like, there's no way we talking about it and they don't know that like come on forget about it you know yeah no nah, man no nah, dude i definitely understand where are you located man you in buffalo uh-huh oh man yeah yeah and, yeah. and so i heard y'all got snow yesterday bro yeah it, it went crazy this morning I'm, <laughs> yeah, like, I'm like what's going on you know it was like the first day of spring and it's snowing like what are you doing you know and so you got to relocate to florida man listen I come and that's what we all do yeah, listen, I come down there and go fishing in Destin. Um, I go, like, dolphin fishing and stuff like that all the time. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Dude. I can hit you up when I'm, you know. Definitely do. Like, yeah, Please like, after do. 4th of July weekend, I'll probably be down there, and, you know. Yeah, 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 dude. Let me know, man. We have a uh, we have a little boat club and stuff with that. We'll go hang out at Crab Out and go fishing. I'm down with that, too, man. I'm, yeah, like, yeah. I'm all about that life. Yeah, and so people just think I just, like, you know, like, all I do is talk about the bills, like, I'm big into that kind of shit, so let me know. All right, that's a fact. All right, bro, we'll see you, man. Right. Yep, see you. See ya. Hopefully my boy stays warm, you know? I saw that Buffalo ended up getting some snow. It's pretty rough. Um, okay. No, Dan, Florida is full. We g <laughs> we have enough Buffalo people. <laughs> no, hey, man, listen. The panhandle is wide open, Jay. The panhandle is wide open. I'm pissed we released Wilson. Who, Russ Wilson? Why? Yo, why would you be pissed that you released Wilson? Uh, what are your thoughts on Mac Collins? Okay. Mac Collins, I'm okay with. Because he's basically replacing two players. Like, right on this team. He's replacing Saran Neal for his special team capabilities. And he's replacing Trent Sherfield. So I thought that was a good pick, and I think he's almost a lock to make the roster based off of what he could put out. Um, and so I don't think that he's going to be, like, game-breaking by any stretch of the imagination. I still think we need, a, like, a solid receiver in the first. But for the most part, we're just going to have to see. Sean Payton killed y'all playoff appearances this, pe this past season. Oh, man. What can you do, dude? Sean Payton doing his thing. All right, guys, listen. Wanted to hop on here real fast. Wanted to talk about this Mike Edwards signing. Do me a favor, guys. Listen, for my afternoon streams from now on, I'm going to be doing what I just did where I welcome callers in 
feel free to hop on and give me your takes on whatever hap- is happening around the league. If you wanted to give me feedback in the AFC's roundtable, something along those lines, let me go. Uh, you live game reacting to March Madness. I'll be honest with you, bro. I have no idea what's going on with March Madness. <laughs> I'm not a really big college basketball guy, except for I did play some bets on it. But, I mean, outside of that, I'll probably watch it, have it on in the background at some point. But we'll see how it plays out. Guys, all right, so it's official. The Buffalo Bills have signed Mike Edwards. Safety has been addressed. I don't think we're done. See you tomorrow morning for my two- to three-hour stream. Subscribe if you haven't already. We'll see you all soon. Peace.